Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is probably the biggest Trader Joe's haul I've ever done for you guys. It is Sunday, it is just a lazy Sunday for Alex and I, so I made him come with me to Trader Joe's so we could get even more stuff since I carry all my groceries home. And I have so much stuff to show you, I'm so excited. I also got so many new items. They're seasonal items. I don't know if it's just Chicago or if this is everywhere, but they're flying off the shelf and not coming back. All the pumpkin items, already gone. All the seasonal coffee, already gone. So that's been a bit of a bummer. But the stuff that did come in that's been new, I'm like grabbing it as quick as I can because I want to make sure I get to try all these items and tell you guys I got some stuff that I'm really, really excited for today. That being said, let's just jump into today's haul. Since Alex came with me, he wanted to stock up on a ton of his snacks. So the first thing he got was these blue corn tortilla chips. He asked me if I have a preference of Trader Joe's tortilla chips, and honestly, I don't. I think they're all pretty good. So today he got the blue corn ones. He also got the jerk chicken plantain chips. These are so good. Okay, these ones are not Whole30 approved because they have sugar in them, but the ones without the jerk chicken seasoning are Whole30 approved, and their plantain chips are delicious. I highly recommend trying them. I also got a thing of green grapes. We don't normally buy grapes very often, but we wanted to do like a little charcuterie-esque board, and so I wanted to get grapes for it because I love love grapes with cheese. I'm trying to eat less dairy and then I do a whole charcuterie board. I don't make any sense. It's fine. We're fine. I also got a bag of the teeny tiny potatoes. These are my favorite potatoes. I love roasting them. The skin on them is super thin so they get really delicious and crispy. Honestly, I got these on a whim. I don't have any sort of plan for them but they're easy to make and they're delicious so I figured this will be an easy thing just to figure out if I need something as a side on a whim. I also got, I've never seen this at Trader Joe's before. I don't know if it's just that my Trader Joe's had it or if like this is coming into all stores, but they had packets of yeast and this is new. Like I know for a fact Trader Joe's didn't used to have yeast. I haven't made bread since we've been back in Chicago, but it's so easy to do. I have the Dutch oven. So I got some packets of yeast just so I could make a quick loaf of bread sometime. Also trying to eat less gluten, here I am buying yeast. Another snack Alex got was the beef jerky. We don't buy beef jerky very often just because it is pretty stinking expensive and he'll eat the entire bag in one sitting. But he was there and he wanted it and I'm not here to deprive that man. Next, I got the ahi tuna steaks. I'm gonna do poke bowls again this week and so these I'm just going to cover in chili oil and then put them in the air fryer for a little bit. You do actually need to cook these. You cannot eat them raw. So I'm gonna do that and just like sear them. Apparently searing is fine and then you can eat them. I don't understand science. These will be super good and I'll put them over rice and with veggies and stuff and the dynamite sauce. I am also gonna be making chicken and dumplings this week. So for that, I got the, I don't know how to say this word. You'll know how to say this word. Vegetable melange. 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 That means mix in French. Okay. Melange. I got the vegetable melange. I would have rather just gotten like just a thing of peas and carrots because this does come in a butter sauce. But when I make it in the chicken and dumplings, I'll just add less butter to the chicken and dumplings than the recipe requires because this already has a sauce on it. It'll be fine. This is, I think it's new. I've never seen it before, but maybe it's just new to me. That is the tabbouleh style hummus. Garbanzo beans, water, diced tomatoes, tahini. Like what in here makes it tabbouleh style? I don't even know. There's spearmint. I don't know, but we've been loving hummuses. I've been loving trying all the different hummuses. Last time we did the triple hummus, I think is what it's called, where it's the cilantro jalapeno, the spicy and the regular all together. That was super good. So this week I'm trying the tabbouleh one. I also just got a thing of chicken. This I'm gonna be using for the chicken and dumplings, but also tonight I'm gonna be making, uh, I'm gonna say this wrong too. Coco vin, which is essentially chicken in a red wine sauce. Traditionally, it's like a French meal and it takes hours to cook and you really love it stew. But Half Baked Harvest, who's like one of my favorite people who share recipes and stuff, I'm gonna cook it and I'm gonna make an Instagram reel. So if you want to see me making a Coco vin with all Trader Joe's recipes, that will be over on my Instagram. You should definitely go give me a follow because I do recipes on there all the time. This is another new one that Alex picked out. This is the Dutch Spicy Kaas. I don't know how to say that. A spicy surprise with red peppers, green bell peppers, and goat cheese. It's a mix of goat and cow milk. I also got, if you've been following my channel, you'll know I love to get Trader Joe's frozen Asian dishes. I love the Indian and the Chinese, and we'll do that instead of like doing takeout some nights. So this week I got the Kung Pao chicken. This is my favorite of all of the Trader Joe's Chinese food chickens, like the teriyaki and the orange chicken. This one's just spicy. They're all good. You honestly can't go wrong. This is my fave. And then to go with it, we've actually never gotten this before, but I got the chicken fried rice. I just thought that would be super easy to make up, so we'll just have the chicken fried rice with the Kung Pao chicken as a meal. And then I'll do like broccoli with it too. I also got Alex put in a request this week for meatloaf. So I got a thing of ground turkey and I'm just gonna make this ground turkey meatloaves. 
If I don't use all of this for the meatloaf, I also like to use ground turkey and cook it in like hoisin and soy and chili oil and stuff. Make that and then add it into ramen, which you'll see I got stuff to do ramen this week as well. All right, this is another new item. I am super excited about these. These are the cassava and coconut grain-free chips. I think these are supposed to be like a take on the siete chips that everybody loves, but I've heard really good things. I'm gonna try them right now. You can tell I'm hungry because I just wanna try all the foods. That's so good. I can't believe it's not like just regular Corn tortilla chip. Sure. Try this. Yeah, that's good. You can put it in the hummus. Ooh. Okay, let's try the cheese. This is the cost cheese. Gas. That was supposed to be spicy. Mm, yeah. It's good. It's not that spicy. It's like a little bit spicy. Oh, it's building. It's spicy. I don't taste any spice in it. Really? It tastes good. I'll eat it. Okay, let's try this hummus. Oh. I like it. It's good. It's interesting. You can taste the mint in there a lot. Continuing on. Also with the cocovan, typically cocovan is served with mashed potatoes. I really hate lumpy mashed potatoes and I don't have a hand blender or a potato masher or anything. So instead of like struggling to make mashed potatoes, I just got their thing of frozen mashed potatoes. These are so easy and you can just do them in the microwave or in the stove top. So that was my easy dinner hack for tonight. I also got three red onions for all the different recipes I'm making. This is new and this is seasonal. And this is the cauliflower tot casserole. Golden cauliflower tots with creamy bechamel sauce and shredded cheddar cheese. This is not healthy. Do not think it's healthy because it has cauliflower in it. It is still very bad for you and very filled with fat. But it sounds delicious. It's the holidays. Hot girl summer's over. Welcome to Fat Girl Fall. Also got these. Alex wasn't going to like these, but I'm so excited. These are fried olive bites. Breaded Castilla Vetrano and Colomata olive pieces with cheese filling. What kind of cheese? Ooh, blue? I don't yeah. Know what about those makes you think that I won't like them? You don't like olives. I do. I'm just fine with olives, especially if there's something like a, some sort of prepared olives. Like, that's gonna be good. I'm excited. These sound delicious. I'll probably do those when we do like a charcuterie board. Maybe we'll just do like a big charcuterie board for dinner one night. Only if you pronounce it charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> this is also seasonal. This is the rice cauliflower stuffing. Don't think that this is actual stuffing. This will not replace your regular stuffing, but it is delicious as like a random side dish, just as long as you aren't thinking of it as stuffing. It's not the same, but it is rice cauliflower with carrots, dried sweetened cranberries, leeks, onions, and celery. So it is super yummy. I love just throwing this as like a side dish to some sort of meal, and I'm really excited they brought it back. I also got egg whites. I get egg whites every single week. We were out of egg whites. Alex also picked these out. He wanted the kosher dill pickles. These pickles are so good. And what I love about Trader Joe's pickles is they don't use any color in them. A lot of pickles have like tons of food coloring in them to make them that bright green. These have turmeric and I think that might add like a little bit of color, but like also turmeric's a spice. It's not a food coloring, but these pickles are delicious. They're one of my favorites. All right. Alex also got the mango mini mochis. I got these for him last time and he really liked these. So he picked up another thing of those. And I got for myself the hold the cones. I loved these. They're like the perfect size. I just eat one little cone and it's like so satisfying after dinner and it doesn't make me feel like I'm like deprived myself at all basically one cone is under 100 calories and it's so delicious and so satisfying i also got a bag of these shelled edamame these are to put in the ramen i love adding like a flavored ground turkey in ramen shelled edamame I'll also put these in the poke bowl so that's easy too it's just easy they're high in protein and i think they're delicious and we got wine i never buy wine so this is exciting we got a bottle of two buck chuck. This is just their two buck chuck cab. This is for cooking. I'm gonna be using this one for the cocoa bond tonight. I figured like since it's going to be like a slower cooked meal, a bottle of two buck chuck is gonna do just fine. And then I'm gonna be honest and you can judge me if you want, but I'm gonna drink the rest of the bottle because nothing goes to waste here, honey. And then next, this I had no intentions of buying. Honestly, I don't even like red wine very much, but we saw two of our friends in line at Trader Joe's and they talked about this wine and they instantly convinced us to get it. It's called Dearly Beloved. It's a seasonal wine. It has a sugar skull in the front. Aromas of dark cherry, plum, and spicy vanilla oak pair perfectly with blueberry, black currant, toasted vanilla bean flavors. It's just gonna taste like red wine to me. <laughs> but it looks really cool. They said it's delicious. They said it tastes very fall and seasonal. I don't know that I'm gonna notice, but I'm excited to try it. First thing in the cart, and I get this every single time. I got a thing of eggs. We go through a dozen eggs every single week. There's nothing new. You guys know this. Also got Alex has everything bagels. I get these every single week. You guys know this. This is new, I think. I haven't seen this one before. This is the oniony kale slaw kit. 
So it's shredded kale, red cabbage, cauliflower, carrots, walnuts, and Parmesan cheese with a caramelized onion Dijon vinaigrette. That sounds delicious. I always mix this with like some other green because I don't want just a slaw. I'd rather have it as like a big salad. So excited to try that one. Also, I think they had this one last year, but I never tried it. So it's new to me as well. And that is the harvest apple salad kit. Spring mix unexpected cheddar cheese, which is like their fan favorite cheddar cheese. Apple cinnamon chips and pecans in an apple vinaigrette. I think I'm probably gonna do this as a side salad for dinner tonight. As usual, I got a thing of spring salad mix. I'll mix this with the kale mix and I'll also use this for poke bowls as well as a thing of baby spinach. I use this for salads too. And if I don't get through it all, I'll also just cook it because spinach can go in literally anything. I got an English cucumber. We fly through these. I put them in salads, eat them in hummus. I also got another thing of the soy chorizo. This is so good. I love it so much. It's not greasy like regular chorizo and I only need a little bit and it makes the most delicious breakfast tacos. I love it. I don't have anything else to say. It's just really good and I highly recommend you try it. These are like relatively new. They came out in the last couple months. I haven't tried them yet, so I'm excited to try them. This is for our ramen and this is the spicy miso ramen. They originally came out with a miso ramen and a chicken ramen, I think. So the spicy miso is a new flavor. It's the newest of the three. I'll do this with like all the toppings and stuff and do us ramen dinners, which will be delicious. Alex got a bag of the peanut butter pretzels. This was the customer favorite of the year for like the last two years, but it's such a good bang for your buck. They're absolutely delicious so if you haven't tried their peanut butter pretzels you definitely should get them also just got a bag of the organic carrots i'll be using this in the cocoa bun and the chicken and dumplings as well as sliced white mushrooms these will go in the cocoa bun tonight as well and a thing of pancetta the recipe that i'm using called for bacon but i prefer pancetta it still has enough fat in it that it'll be able to do everything that the bacon was supposed to do in the recipe also because trader joe's bacon is kind of expensive or maybe bacon's just expensive everywhere and I never buy bacon. I got a thing of celery hearts. This is also for the cocoa bar and the chicken and dumplings. I feel like all the recipes I'm making use all the same ingredients. Same with meatloafs if I end up doing meatloafs. Ah, it's been so long. I got the jicama wraps again. I love these wraps. They are so good. They're so easy. They hold so well. They are 15 calories for two wraps and they're just freaking delicious. So I'm going to be doing breakfast tacos again this week using the soy chorizo and eggs and just putting them in this. And it's like my favorite breakfast. So good. Alex got a bag of the organic banana chips. These are just another snack for him to have. He also got the chicken and cheese tamales. Trader Joe's is like finally getting all of their tamales back and stuff, which is awesome. But they're all so good. Like you really cannot go wrong. I got a thing of the light, soft, spreadable cream cheese. This is for his bagels. All right, I'm just gonna talk quickly because I still have a good amount of stuff and we've been filming for 20 minutes. He also got a thing of the organic dried mangoes. These are great because there's no sugar added. There's nothing else in them. The only ingredient is organic mango. So these are really fun to eat as just like a easy, like sweet snack. He also got a thing of the in-shell pumpkin seeds. These are just for him to snack on as well. I got a thing of the turkey summer sausage. I've never tried this before, but I thought it'd be good to throw in when I do the charcuterie. And then also a thing of the double cream brie cheese. We got brie recently and I'm trying so hard to eat less dairy, but it was so good and I loved it so much that I'm like, I'm gonna suck it up and I wanna eat this brie because it's delicious. He also got a thing of the chicken green chili burritos and the regular chicken burritos. These are for him when he just like needs to heat up a lunch or something and I'm not in the house of making lunch that day. And he got a thing of the chicken enchiladas as well. Also got a thing of sunflower seeds, just again, another snack. I got two things of the chicken broth. This is for the cocoa bun and for the chicken and dumplings as well. So I just needed those for those recipes. And then because they were all out of both the maple coffee and the pumpkin spice coffee, I got a thing of just the regular ground espresso bun. It's still delicious, don't get me wrong. But I'm a hoe for seasonal coffee. He got a thing of the chunky salsa. He asked me if I have a favorite of the salsas as well. I love all the green salsas, but when it comes to the red ones, I think they're all good. You can't really go wrong. And then some seasonings. So the first one I got is French thyme. I needed this for all of the recipes I'm making and I don't own thyme right now. Then next I got dried basil. This one, oddly, I didn't have either. And I did that for recipes too. And lastly, I'm so excited about this. People have been raving about it. And that is the everything but the leftover seasoning. So this one's new and the ingredients of it are dehydrated onion, sea salt, yeast extract, salt, ground black pepper, dried yeast, turmeric powder, dried celery seed, ground sage, rosemary, dried thyme, and dried parsley. I think this is just gonna be like an all around delicious seasoning to put on anything savory. Very excited to try it. 
All right, guys, that was extremely overwhelming. I have so much food in front of me that I need to put away. I'm gonna end this video here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, go over to Instagram, follow me there. I post tons of recipes, lots of Trader Joe's content. You're really gonna wanna follow along, I promise. It's a great time. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the big red subscribe button. I post at least two videos a week, and I would love for you to be able to keep up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.